so I just I want to talk about Spongebob and I as usual I have none of this planned I was just like hmm I want to talk about Spongebob so that's what I'm doing I'm talking about Spongebob um so first off I have to say like okay we're all we're all Spongebob fans Everyone likes Spongebob. The only people who don't like Spongebob are people who were ultra-conservative Christians in the 2000s who had children and had folks on the family just, like, shoved up their butt. You know, those people. They probably don't like Spongebob. They thought Spongebob was going to turn all of our kids gay. And maybe that's what happened. But also maybe your kids were going to be gay either way. Spongebob just told us it was okay to be ourselves. Anyway, um, so we all love Spongebob. But uh, what some people don't know... Because most of us people who are big fans of Spongebob are in our 20s on account of Spongebob came out in 1999. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 22 years ago, Spongebob first graced our screens. I don't know why I'm talking dramatically like that, but um, yeah, Spongebob premiered in 1999 and it in some iteration has been on TV since then. I'm not I'm not completely sure if just regular SpongeBob is still on the air cuz every couple months I hear talk of SpongeBob being canceled and this time I kind of believe it. Like I don't have cable, so like I don't know and even whenever I did have cable if SpongeBob was on, it was usually a episode I saw whenever I was in like the third grade so like I never really saw new episodes of Spongebob but um every now and then there'd be a special so I kn I knew it was still going on but what what was I saying so I'm not sure if Spongebob is still on the air with new episodes just as the show Spongebob Squarepants um I could look into that but I'd have to stop this video because I'm filming on my phone and I don't want to do that because I don't know how to combine videos um so it's possible it's still on um but maybe not because um like I've always thought of Spongebob as a show like The Simpsons like it's never gonna end because everyone loves it and it is a treasure it is a national treasure and everyone loves it and why would it ever end so I never really believed the rumors that would come every, like, six months, every TV season when things are rumored to be being canceled. I never really believed it, but I kind of believe it this time because they came out with um, the Patrick Show. Is that what it's called? The Patrick Show? Patrick Star Show? Something like that. And then there's also Camp Coral, which is a prequel. Um... So, like, with those two things, I I can see Spongebob having ended. And they, they did a, I want to say it was the 20-year, like, special celebration thing, like, a year ago, where, um, like, it was supposed to be Spongebob's birthday... I think they were throwing him a surprise party but they had to keep him away from his house while they set up the party you know how surprise parties work so they went on like a so Patrick and Spongebob I think they went on like a bus tour but the tour takes them above water that sounds weird above water on on land <laughs> to like a diner kind of place that is just the spitting image of the Krusty Krab, and it's just like the entire Krusty crew 
just as people and it's like the voice actors acting as the characters in this restaurant so tom kinney was fry cook and i don't know the names of any of their other um people that one guy i want to say his name is clancy he's it, the guy who does the voice of mr krabs his name is clancy right um him um is his name clancy um, I only know because he's one of the guards in Shawshank Redemption, and I feel the need to bring that up every time I'm watching Shawshank Redemption. Um, it's also the voice of, what's his name, on that show. Was it on, was it Flapjack, or was it Chowder? I confused those shows. I didn't have Cartoon Network. Like, it just... It did not play on my TV. I had Nickelodeon and I had Disney Channel and I had like PBS Kids, but Cartoon Network just did not work on my TV. So, I missed out on the good years of Cartoon Network. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Nickelodeon, baby. Um, so SpongeBob, me boy. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Okay, so, in preparation for making this video about nothing, <laughs> now we're just talking about Seinfeld? No, um, this video about Spongebob, in preparation, and I really should have done more preparation, but I felt the quickest way to prepare for an impromptu, prepare for an impromptu video would be to just listen to... Have I told you about the Broadway musical yet? Have I even told you about that? Because, like, I had really low, like, hope for it. Like, I, I did not think it was going to be good. I thought it was just going to be, like, a cash grab kind of thing, you know, like they do. And I didn't think it would be good. But the actors they got... The people they got to write the music, the songs, it's, it's, it's like a really good show. Like, in that, and, and it's not, it's not like that it's a really good show for something based off of a cartoon. No, it's a really good show. It's, in terms of all Broadway, it is a good show. Like, I would argue it's better than Cats. But really, it's not that hard to be better than cats. Back to the topic. So, um, my internal struggle with Spongebob is, like, who do I relate with most? Or who do I want to be? Or who, who do I feel I am now? And ha who do I want to be? Does that make any sense? Like, at all? Because, like, well, to start off, in, pre 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 in preparation for this video, I listened to the song Bikini Bottom Day from the Spongebob musical, because it is a great song and you should listen to it. It's the opening number, and it just, we get a nice introduction to all the important characters and we get a feel for what's going on and it's a really good song and in singing that song because like you if, if you were t to just r sing the whole song yourself because it's different characters singing their things but if you would just like sing the whole thing yourself you're going through a bunch of different characters so I, every time i'm like hmm, which which of these parts do I feel like is me, you know? Because it starts with Spongebob and he's like, um, what does he say? He says, ah, good morning world and all who inhabit it. <laughs> Get out of bed. Make some breakfast for my favorite pet snail. Meow. 
full steam ahead. The SS I am ready is about to set sail. It's just so funny. Because Spongebob's character traits, I guess, are um, that he feels that he is underappreciated, that he could be doing more, but people are just not giving him a shot. And that makes me sad. And then we go to Patrick, and he's like... He's, what, what does his song part say? He's like, I missed a nap, and now I'm gonna have to eat while watching TV. They're playing all of Mermaid Man. I like to be here by my favorite rock. <laughs> like, Patrick Stone, we know this. Um, and then Squidward is just like, or they're like, hey Squidward. Or, I think Squidward shouts something like, Would you two knock it off? And they're like, Hi, Squidward. And Squidward's like, Another day, another migraine. <laughs> With these two idiots in stereo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful bikini bottom day. And it goes to Sandy, and she's doing some science stuff. And then it goes to Mr. Krabs and Plankton, and Pearl's in there, too. And they're talking about stuff. And then everyone just starts singing together. Anyway, it brings you through all the important characters. And I just, I, I feel like I want to be a Spongebob. Like... I want to, but if I were to just be myself, I guess, I'd probably be like Squidward, and I don't want to, though. Well, kind of, in, in terms of this musical, kind of, but, hmm, I just, I feel like, I feel like I have a little bit of all the Spongebob people in me. I've got the optimism of Spongebob. The laziness of Patrick. The book smarts from Sandy. Who else is here? Um... I get my evil from Plankton. I get greed from Mr. Krabs. What what are the other the what are the other deadly sins? Hold on. We got Patrick for sloth. Plankton for in is it envy or wrath? One of those. Probably both of those. Krabs is greed. Glutton. Not a glutton. None of us are gluttons. Well, Squidward is in that one episode. And Bubble Bass is kind of a glutton as well. Um, hmm. I don't know. I definitely have my Squidward moments. But I try my best to be a sponge bob kind of people. So it's like... It's nice to just go about your day happy and just, you just, you don't know how your day's gonna go, but you can't wait to find out, and you're just so excited and just so happy and excited for everything, and I love it. But the ways in which I do not relate with Spongebob is that he really wants to be the manager of the Krusty Krab. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's a Krusty Krab. I could understand. And definitely having worked there as fry cook for, like, what, six, ten years? Then maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm not big on keeping jobs for more than, like, two months, so. Yeah. But. 
I try to be a SpongeBob. I just, I need to find my Krusty Krab. Place I don't hate going to every day to, to work. One day I'll find it. The Rainbow Connection. The... <laughs> One day we'll find it. The Rainbow Connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. Okay, I'm... I'm rather bored. I'm also rather high. I took three halves of an Ambien and... That's an improper fraction, but you can figure it out. I hope, I hope you can figure it out. If you can't figure that out, like, why are you even here? This is an adults only rambling about Spongebob. Don't want any kids in here not knowing how to do fractions. You want to see my latest tattoo? Um, you can see it. Can you see it? Okay. We will try again by reorienting everything. Okay, you cannot. How about now? There. There you go. Can you see that? That is the letter L. No, 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 turn, 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 turn. See? It's the letter L. Because this is my left hand. And now I will always know that this is my left hand. <laughs> because I'm super dumb and just didn't ever figure out how to remember which one's which. Stop picking on me. I ran out of Spongebob things to say. Well, not really. I didn't really run out of things to say. I just... I don't know which way 